on this chart, really you can see on the left-hand side there, we have profitability. So how do we increase profits? And on the bottom here, you can see we have the percentage of time working on the business rather than in it. So how can we work, you know, less time in the business where we're actually doing the accounting, you know, actually going through and, you know, helping with the QuickBooks file or getting inside of Drake or another tax software and doing the actual returns and spend more time working on the business as an entrepreneur. Um, so we're going to talk about what it means to go through each of these stages. And so the very first stage that most people start out at is called a parakeet. And I'm going to walk through each of these stages in detail. But a parakeet is typically a generalist, somebody that has low fees. And I say that, they, you know, they, they often charge $100 a month to pay, play kind of calculator games. So the life of a parakeet, I mean, most people that start their business as, as in accounting, like they start out as a parakeet. If you don't have any training, if you don't have any help, if you don't have any mentors, it's kind of the obvious way to start, and it's really the easiest. And so typically this business is built on word of mouth, networking events, friends and family, and connections. And it's just kind of like as business comes to you, it's great, we take it, and we go on from there. But you're typically a generalist if you're a parakeet. So, you know, you provide really any service that someone will pay for. You know, you could have as much as a dozen or 30 or more services. I actually had a website, which we're going to talk about later, where someone had 33 services and there was only like, you know, a couple of people, like two or three people working at the company. I was like, you know, how does everybody know how to do all this stuff really well? I mean, obviously they don't. Um, but, you know, when you get into this situation where you're just – you're not only a generalist on the services you offer, but it's also the industries you work with. So it's not just like, okay, I offer 30 or 40 different services, but I'll really work with any industry. So generally, you know, if somebody has a pulse and a business, they can become a client regardless of the industry or the help they're looking for, just anybody. And so because of that, that really drives low fees. And the fees are low often because to be honest, the value is low. I mean, it's hard to be the best at the services delivered when there's so many different services, custom work, each industry is different, and it's kind of a learning curve with every single new client. So parakeets really generally aren't respected by their clients, and their work is seen as a commodity. It's just like, oh, I could go over here if the price is less. And most of their clients are small, their services work only, there's no training, there's no higher level value in these services, just baseline commodity services. And most of the companies they're working with are less than 500,000 a year in annual sales. And, you know, I commonly say that parakeets are, they're kind of paid to play $100 a month calculator games, just paid to peck the keyboard like a parakeet. And that's really what it is. And it's, it's a sad story and it's unfortunate. But if you're at this level, the good news is, is it's easy to get out of this level. There's just one or two key things we need to make it beyond a parakeet and get to a confidant. And so a confidant is really someone who might.